Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. My name is Neka Izanya and I do hope you enjoy today's video. This video is, I think, the most requested video I've ever had on my channel to date. And it's crazy how I've gotten to a stage where you guys are actually interested to see how I edit my content. I am not a video editor. I didn't go to any school to learn how to edit videos. This video is centered around my own personal experience and my conscious effort to get better at creating long form content and i've been dragging it so much because i didn't just know where to start from okay so i asked you guys on instagram about like a month ago or almost two months ago what you guys would really want to learn concerning video editing content creation storytelling and all of that hence why i sectioned this video into five different parts the first part is the equipment i use the second is music songs how i get my songs where i get them from all about music the third part is the editing software i use the third part is my editing techniques how i edit what i do how i do it every section of this video is as important as the final part which is tips and tricks that have helped me to grow my editing skills throughout my three to four years of actively creating content i don't want this video to be too long so i'm just going to be jumping right straight into it the equipment you use doesn't really matter to be honest what matters is the quality the quality of the videos you put out it adds to the viewers experience i'm not saying that you should spend thousands of dollars at buying equipment but just make sure that whatever you want to invest in has a certain level of quality the first thing i use is my iphone 14 pro max i just got this phone not too long ago one of the main things i love about this phone is the stability and the hd and 4k effect if you don't want to invest in a camera your iphone can do just that i even prefer sometimes shooting content with my iphone than shooting with my hd cameras because of how good the stability is the second camera i use which is this camera right now is the canon 700d which is also known as the rebel t5i and with this camera i have two different lenses the first one is the canon ef 18 to 55 millimeters and this is what i'm using right now the second lens i have is the canon 50 mm lens it's just there just in case i want to shoot something really 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 close but i hardly use it for creating content the second camera i use which is my vlogging camera so if you see me vlogging or doing whatever it's either this camera or my iphone and this camera is the sony a5100 i also use something called the dji osmo 5 but this was really really beneficial when i was using my iphone 10 but i don't use it right now because of the stability on the current iphone it's just an extra thing i have just in case i want extra stability talking about my mics i have two different mics i have this one right here which is the boya microphone and i have a rode compact mic but i use the boya most of the time it is cheaper than the rode but it is actually very 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 good as you can tell from the quality of the sound of this video this is like years of investment into creating content okay so you don't have to have all of this most of these equipments i don't use them all the time but just because i want variety that's why i have them when i know this might sound cliche but if you just have your iphone then you're good if your iphone doesn't have great stability then just invest in the dji or small gimbal stabilizer so that's all i have to say concerning equipment now the next section of this video is about music or songs i feel like this section is the section i am constantly working on there are sometimes that i'm just too tired to even think about songs and i just use any random song or songs are really important music or songs set the tone to the videos or to the content you've created for your audience okay what do you want your viewers to feel how do you want them to feel when they're watching your content do you want your viewers to be calm or relaxed when watching your videos do you want to be like jaye 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 there are three tips i want to give you guys concerning music that i have learned so far the first is there's something called the 10 seconds rule okay, i named it the 10 seconds rule you know getting flagged for copyrighted or non-copyrighted on youtube it's not a human being that is flagging you youtube has an artificial intelligence program that does that for them what i find is if i'm going to use a song that i know for sure is copyrighted i use that song for less than 10 seconds so so that's what i mean by a 10 second rule and if you want to use that song for more than 10 seconds you use it for less than 10 seconds create a distraction continue using it then create a distraction if that makes any sense sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work 
That being said, yeah, I know that creating content is kind of broad. Everyone's content creation journey is different. And what you want to learn concerning content creation or music or whatever might be different from someone else's. And I'm creating this video right now for a large amount of people. So I've created a platform where I can have a one-on-one -on -one session with you. The one-hour session is your time. You detect what you want to talk about in that one-on-one -on -one session. So just in case this is something you're interested in, you want to learn from me or from my personal experience, definitely click on the link in the description box where you can book me for an hour and i'll be more than happy to have a one-on-one -on -one session with you the next tip concerning having great music is playing the music in the background if you finish editing your videos and you have a chunk part that doesn't have music in it play the song play the clips and see how they match together i'm telling you it makes a huge difference it will save you time it will give you a visual idea of what it will look like if the song was to be used for those clips this is a very good tip and also it's okay to get feedback from family and friends i always do this i think this i think you can do this better i think i would enjoy this if feedback is very very good and not just get feedback from anybody get feedback from people that you know that understand the journey understand the vision of the video you want to create or the kind of content you want to put out there right i hope these tips and tricks help you to get great music i get my songs from four different sources the first one is epidemic sound and epidemic sound is a subscription based website where you can get music from i'm going to leave the link the direct link to this website in the description box just in case you're interested in checking them out i think they have like a month or so of free trial all of my songs come from epidemic sound because it is non-copyrighted you know that music and youtube there is always a problem because of the copyrights and all of that right so if you want to get non-copyrighted music then you definitely find some on epidemic sound the next is youtube youtube is a tricky one but a very good search engine for finding good music there are different ways i find songs on youtube the first is i just go on youtube and i'll type non-copyrighted rmb music and a bunch of songs will come out but this is tricky sometimes a song might say or a playlist might say non-copyrighted or it is actually copyrighted so now how do you tell when you scroll down to the very bottom there's something known as a music license you would either see a music license or you would not see a music license if you see a music license then a song in that video is copyrighted but if you don't see any music license under that video the songs in that video are not copyrighted so that's how you can tell if a music is copyrighted or not copyrighted on youtube there's a website known as y 2 mate which converts um, youtube videos to mp3s copy the link of the video paste it on the white to mate and you can download the mp3 version from there other way i can find songs on youtube is basically type the name of the song you want to find i'm looking for one of them's song titled maybe high life or something i type thames high life reverb or thames high life remake bunch of songs will come out so yeah that i think is all you need to know about youtube music the next is icloud icloud is my source for ninja jams there are so many great great djs ninja djs or african djs that post their work on icloud for icloud what i do is i listen to a bunch of songs anyone that tickles my fancy i get the link and i go to a website known as soundcloudmp3.org then it will convert the music directly to mp3 because there's some songs that you cannot download directly from icloud some you can but some you can't icloud is a bit tricky because there's no way you can tell if a song is copyrighted for youtube or not guys you just have to test and run so what i do is that i just grab a very random video then i insert the song on that video download it upload it on youtube youtube will notify me if that song is copyrighted or not i know it's a lot of work so yeah that's that for icloud the next source for my music is tiktok tiktok is a great place but i noticed that most of the songs on tiktok are copyrighted so like i said test and run and i use tiktok songs for usually the intros of my videos and intros of my videos are not too long so sometimes it might not get flagged by youtube sometimes the song is just not a copyrighted music so definitely check it out now let's talk about the editing software i use i only use one editing software right now and that is the final code pro x i know final code pro is a bit expensive but 
there is a final couple trial version which you can download and you can keep on renewing it every 90 days when it expires my editing techniques i know this is the part you guys have been waiting for so i have my laptop here just in case you can see my laptop i am currently looking at my laptop right now i'm going to focus on how i match beats with clips and how i get different angles like this one and this one how i match things together how i just create like a seamless bit but i'm just going to focus on those two parts because like i said video editing is really 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 broad there's just so much i can fit into this video right i'm going to try my best to focus on this and if you want to learn more you can always book me okay so in creating content there's something known as a roll and b roll a roll just basically means this camera right now that i'm using to talk to you guys on this one and b roll is this camera that i am not facing or that i'm not talking to but i can switch it so this one right now is my a roll and this has become my b roll if that makes any sense okay so i'm going to be interchanging between a roll and b roll so i want you guys to understand what i meant when i say a roll and when i say b roll so let's go back to my main camera <laughs> for you to create a seamless transition between your a roll and b roll the clips have to make sense they have to merge perfectly together sometimes people have more than one camera like in my case now i have more than one camera and i can switch in between those cameras but there's some cases where i don't have more than one camera i'll give an example with this clip right here I just had one camera with me so what i did was i shoot from this angle change the position from that angle to the other angle and repeat the same process i know it takes a lot of time it really does take a lot of time going back and forth but determination if you want an easier and faster way you can always invest in two different cameras and place them but if you just have one camera this is just what you have to do to get that kind of transition and make sure that when you're editing things merge nicely together okay so that's one of the tips i'll give you concerning creating that kind of flawless transition so now let's focus on my intro i'll be using this intro i did for my youtube event i'm going to be screen recording right now so this is what the final cut pro layout looks like i've put all the clips i want for this video i am going to focus on this part that is the music right anywhere i see a distortion in sound that's where i know my next clip is going to start from but you have to make sure you zoom out just so that you can see where the beats are you know interrupted and you can follow it from there sometimes some beats are interrupted but the beats that you want to follow might not be that interruption so you just use your discretion so now i know that the next clip now is gonna be here so i'm gonna adjust this and make it this like this it's gonna be going in accordance to the beat of the song so let's play from the beginning you see how that went right so tin tin because i am seeing distortion here that you guys can see here that's how i can now determine when the next clip is going to be added to the song okay so now let's go you can see now so the next distortion is somewhere here so now i know that i'm going to add a clip there so that it can go to the beat of the song if that makes any sense i've already created this content before so it's easier for me to do this but this actually takes time but you get faster as you go on i would like to say that it's not every time i do this though sometimes i just don't care and i just put anything but there is when i know that there's a beat that i can follow i always follow the beat i don't follow the beat to the very end sometimes sometimes i do sometimes i don't i might start with the beat and just feel mm, okay i want people to really see the content more now so it all depends <sighs> this might be a lot this might be a lot for some of you guys hence why i have created a one-on-one -on -one session so yeah that's it for my techniques that i use so the last and final part of this video is the tips that have helped me grow in my content creation journey the first is watch videos or vlogs of creators that you enjoy or you actually love their editing skills or the way they create content big or small creativity has no limit to the amount of subscribers or to the amount of followers you have on social media there's some content creators that are growing right now they are very very creative 
creative in the way they create content so watch their videos you know, learn from them you can learn how to edit content from watching people creativity is just creativity if you see something i did that you really like take it and try it out for yourself that's the only way you can grow the second tip is make it a conscious effort don't watch just to be entertained watch to also learn and once you have that mindset things start to shift i was watching a movie the other day and there's a trick that they did in that movie i'm like huh i picked up my laptop grabbed random clips on my laptop to see if final cut pro will allow me access to do something like that have a conscious mind towards learning how to create content or towards learning how to edit videos don't just be watching videos and be watching like randomly you have to be conscious enough to cite things and when you see them try and implement them with the clips that you have which leads to my next point practice 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 make perfect they say and it's really really true when it comes to creating content the next tip i have for you guys is in terms of music if there's a song you hear in a creator's vlog there's a high tendency that that song is non-copyrighted use your snapchat shazam um, future and get the song it will just help you reduce the amount of time you spend in finding good music okay so that's one really good tip for finding good music the next and final tip i have for you guys is this takes time learning getting better at a skill takes time but it is definitely going to be worth it when you start growing your growth will not just be noticed by you other people will notice your growth and they will acknowledge it so don't stop if you started and start if you haven't so yeah guys that's it for today's video i know it's a lot of information and like i said i am still growing i am still getting better this is just based on my own experience and i am so happy that i am in a place where i can pour into you guys just in case you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share this video with a friend that you feel will benefit from it and turn on the post notifications so that you can get notified every single time i upload a new video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys <laughs> bye